Sweden has more billionaires than the other three Nordic countries combined. There are 45 billionaires and a population of 10.4 million people. That's roughly three billionaires per a million people. That places them in the 10th spot for the most billionaires per capita. They might be lagging behind countries like Monaco, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland, but they are leading all of the Nordic countries in wealth. Even though the US has more billionaires, 735 to be exact, Sweden is still in the lead when it comes to billionaires per capita. The wealthiest billionaire in Sweden is Stefan Persson. He is the largest shareholder of the fashion giant H&M. The company was started by his father, Erlend Persson, in 1947, but in 1982, he took over the management of the company. Even though his stake in H&M remains the highest at 36%, he has stepped down from the company as CEO. His son, Carl Johan Persson, has since taken over. Very little is known about Stefan Persson and his personal life of wealth, but we still manage to find something. With his $17.6 billion from H&M, we could safely say that Persson lives the good life. We found out that he has a large portfolio of real estate owned through a company called Ramsbury Invest. Through this company, he owns real estate in the world's largest shopping districts. This includes Rome, Paris, London, New York, and Stockholm. Speaking of which, we should tell you that his main home is in Stockholm, but his location has not been disclosed to the public. Although some people speculate he owns a mansion outside the hustle and bustle of Sweden's capital, no one is allowed to visit, so the billionaire enjoys a life of privacy. Speaking of homes, we know that in 2015, the H&M tycoon wanted to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> oh, but no, in all seriousness, he wanted to build a nine bedroom mansion in Wiltshire, a property he purchased for 16 million British pounds. The 780 acre estate caused problems between person and another business magnate, Harry Williams. He complained that the mansion will stop him from hunting game. The mansion has a pool in the back and a tea house, but is getting completely remodeled. Since we're on the subject of real estate, we should tell you that his other company, Ramsbury Estates Limited, owns 19,000 acres, or 7,700 hectares of farmland in Hampshire, Berkshire, and Wiltshire. Since 1997, when the Swedish billionaire acquired the farmland, he has slowly been expanding it. He even bought Littlecote House in Hungerford Park. And this is the mansion. One of the craziest purchases by Stefan Persson had to be in 2009. You see, this was the year the billionaire bought an entire village. At the time, Lincoln Holt in Hampshire, England had 21 cottages, which Persson bought outright. We know that in his spare time, Persson likes to play tennis, golf, and go for some downhill skiing. He also spends a lot of time with his foundation called Mentor Foundation which is aimed at helping young people deal with substance abuse. All of his children own stakes in H&M, and they are all billionaires in their own right. The second richest person in Sweden is a man named Melker Schorling. Just like Persson, he is also 75 years old. Thanks to his investment company, MSAB, he has amassed a net worth of $9.9 .9 billion. As an investor, he holds large stakes in Securitas AB, the company that's mostly responsible for his billionaire status, Hexagon AB, Loomis, and Asa Abloy. As a founder of MSAB, he has been successfully running the company since its founding. However, in 2017, Schorling had to step down from the position as CEO and left the company to his two daughters, Sophia and Marta. Just like our previous billionaire on the list, Melker lives in Stockholm, and according to Forbes, he's one of the largest landowners in Sweden. His house is the historic Edeby Manor, which is located on the southern side of Stockholm. The mansion is covered with water on three sides, giving Melker complete privacy. The third richest person in Sweden is Finn Rousing, with a net worth of $9.8 billion in 2022. How did they make their money? Well, it's pretty simple. If you've ever bought a juice box, then you've given this dude some money. His grandfather invented and patented the Tetra Pak packaging, which allowed companies to store food and beverages without the need for refrigeration. After his father passed away, Finn Rousing and his other two siblings took over the company and run it. Tetra Pak is the main subsidiary of Tetra Laval, 
Being interested in cars from a young age, Rousing is a major stockholder in Sauber Motorsport, a car engineering and manufacturing company that specializes in motor racing. Speaking of motor racing, the billionaire also owns the Alfa Romeo team for Formula One. So if you like racing, you should definitely know this guy. Despite being born in Stockholm, he's currently living in London, England. Their entire family has been veiled in secrecy and is claimed to have a dark side to the dynasty. The Independent published an article in 2008 where they talked about smashing that subscribe button just like you should do if you haven't already. <laughs> oh gosh, no, seriously now. The Independent talked about a drug bust at the US Embassy in London. Apparently, the Rousing family had something to do with it. Then, on July 10th, 2012, Ava Rousing was found dead inside her home. Her husband, Hans Christian Rousing, was arrested on suspicion of drug offenses. They believed he was connected to the death of his wife. Since Tetra Laval is owned wholly by Finn, Jorn, and Kirsten, they all have the same net worth, so we're gonna place them on the same level as Finn. But let us tell you a little bit more about the dark side of success. When Jorn was very young, a group of pro-Palestinian terrorists kidnapped him in 1989. He was 29 years old at the time, but luckily, the terrorists' plan failed. And since then, he has enjoyed a life of luxury. In 2017, rumors spread that Jorn Rousing sold one of his supercars. It was a 1966 Ferrari. The gold-colored sports car sold at auction for $740,000. Kirsten, the middle child of the family, currently resides in Newmarket, United Kingdom. She's 70 years old, and she serves as the chairman of the International Thoroughbred Breeders Federation. Because she's lived in the UK for such a long time, the Queen gave her the title of Deputy Lieutenant of the country of Suffolk. Out of all rousing family members, she probably has the most interesting life. As the director of the British Bloodstock Agency, her job is to buy racehorses and sell them to wealthy clients. She is even an award-winning horse breeder. To do this, she has her own stud farm called Lanwad Stud in Newmarket, as well as Staffordstown Stud in County Meath, Ireland. For 70 years, she has never been married, she's never had children, and has only been focused on her career. The next richest billionaire, according to Forbes, is Carl Bennett. His net worth was equal to $8.3 billion in 2022, but is currently down to $6.8 billion. Thanks to his business acumen, Mr. Bennett now holds five companies listed on the Swedish Stock Exchange. The companies include Electrolux, Yetinja, a manufacturer of medical products, Arjo, a medical supplies company, Ilanders, a logistics company, and of course, Lifco which he bought in the year 2000. In 2014, he listed it on the Swedish Stock Exchange at 28 times the original price. When it comes to his private life, Mr. Bennett doesn't share too many details about it. We just know that he lives in Gothenburg in Sweden. Gustav A.S. Douglas is Sweden's oldest billionaire at age 84. According to Forbes, his net worth in 2022 equaled $8.2 billion but he's not like other billionaires. You see, Gustav Douglas is an aristocrat. He married the daughter of Baron Erik von Essen, and they have two children together and currently live in the 15th century Rydbeholm Castle near Stockholm, Sweden. He started his career running a Swedish TV channel and newspaper. Today, he invests through his firm Investment AB Latour, but he made the majority of his wealth through the Swedish security company called Securitas. Both of his sons are also major stakeholders in the company. Check out these videos next!